I'd say number one, that movement from uh, shared infrastructure to private infrastructure will continue instead of having DAS systems and shared uh, tower type models and shared networks, you'll continue to see more and more of the enterprise space looking to own their own network, manage it, secure it, drive the automation in it, and fully integrate it in their applications. A lot more applications, especially around factories and farms, will continue to evolve. That, uh, that trend is unmistakable. The second thing I'm looking for is that we will begin to see solutions for uh, the voice coverage problem, the so-called neutral host, without having to deploy extensive wiring and antennas and expensive networks. We're beginning to see the early stages of using CVRS as a common voice coverage network that works seamlessly with the operators, and I expect that to continue. That's obviously good news for any CIO who wants to be able to provide coverage and quality for their partners in the business without changing handsets or without changing the way they deal with operators. And uh, the third trend is uh, we are starting to roll out spectrum sharing for uh, Wi-Fi 6 for 6 gigahertz that opens up 600% more power for these devices that use our system called the AFC automatic frequency controller. We're going to continue to see the Wi-Fi ecosystem adopt 6E for 6 gigahertz and using shared systems like the one we built. These are probably the three trends I said that I think are most impactful for 22.